Hello, everybody. Can you hear me okay? Uh, maybe just say hello in the, say you can hear me in the comments. My name is Jeff. My name is Jeff Warren. I'll be your host for this uh, edition, this rousing edition of not doing anything. Nice. Thank you, Valentina. Um, I'm coming to you live from a cafe around the corner from my house. That my friend Julie owns. She lets me do these on Sunday night now, so I don't have to uh, uh, compete with my screaming kids. I'm just trying to get this thing organized. Oh, yeah, so basically, when you do it from the cafe, you have to compete with the industrial strength commercial fridge over there. So that'll be part of our equanimity practice. But hello, everybody, signing saying hello. I see Cashew, Siobhan, Jennifer, Fred, Victoria, Andrew, Sarah, Bonnie, Adriano, Jill, Andrew, the blue font moderating. Thank you, my friend. Simone, Colette, Sandra, Tracy, and anyone else I've missed here further up, Valentina, uh, Lynn, Arts of Traveler, Emma. Um, yeah, I know, Heather. <laughs> Yeah, even half an hour extra, my kids would be almost asleep and uh, would make it uh, a lot easier. But um, yeah, so if you've never been to Do Nothing Project before, first of all, welcome. This is it. This, these are the people. This is the low tech. This is the low tech vibe. Uh, some people say hello over in the comments. Uh, many others just sit back and are doing their form of nothing. And a great many others watch it later. I expect that'll be the case this week since uh, my other competition besides the Industrial Strength Fridge is the Super Bowl. So sports fans are doing their version of uh, rest and restoration. Um, yeah, I'm feeling very tired tonight and very looking forward to just this. <laughs> this. It's a busy weekend, so, and I haven't, uh, both, I think, uh, Andrew did it once and Aaron did it once the past two weeks I've been away and it's down south, so I want to thank both my friends for filling in, but I'm very happy to be back. You know, when I do these, I, uh, I'm, I mean, this is my, often my longest meditation of the week as well, so I, uh, I look forward to it. Um, so, what's the Do Nothing Project about? kind of says it all. It's uh, an opportunity to just get simple, maybe is one way to put it, um, to you know, be, be together here, but sit in a way that um, feels like it's actually genuinely landing in, in the domain of rest or insight or whatever it is that, uh, you know, inspires you to do nothing. You don't you could formally meditate, which, I mean, I guess that's what I do. It's formal meditation in that I'm sitting and I'm intending to pay attention to a particular thing or practice a particular way of being, I mean, which is to say pure being. But other people, you know, it's more um, implicit, the meditation. You know, that you could be stretching or moving or just laying down. And those things are, they are... A, deeply restful, but they can also be meditations, uh, particularly when you're kind of aware of what you're doing and you're noticing the tendency that wants to check out of the present moment. And you can check out, you know, sometimes that's where we, we need to check out. It's not a bad coping strategy, but the kind of point of the practice as I see it is to um, to actually stay present and notice the parts that want to to space out or want to react or want to you know, find a new, more exciting stimulus and just watch as those things pass. And there's a lot of peace and I guess you could say insight or wisdom that lives on the other side of that. That's kind of what we're after today, but in a <laughs> fairly, um, uh, hopefully approachable way. And actually that reminds me that that's what the theme I was thinking tonight. I just, I've got this new Substack. Most folks here know about it and are on it, which is really, I really appreciate the support. It's been really fun for me, and I've got a lot of ideas that I'm getting ready to roll out. But the um, the one I just did for today is all about no big dealness, which is a big theme of mine. Uh, it's kind of, I think, 
the most important thing around how to make a practice of meditation accessible because so often you know you your your mind just makes a big giant big deal of the thing and you feel like you got to get it right and it ends up being this big production that it really is the opposite of what meditation is so i i um like to talk about just like to kind of disarm that mind's tendency so we'll we'll kind of focus a little bit on the no big deal quality tonight <laughs> so if you're new this is extra perfect and if you're uh, an old friend who's coming back uh, good to see you again thanks for supporting and let's do our meditation Okay, so it's uh, 8.07 right now, so we'll finish at 8.32. This is Eastern Standard Time. Okay, a few slow, uh, deliberate breaths. As always, with the Do Nothing Project, if you've got your own version of nothing that you want to do, you're welcome <laughs> to do that. You can let my cues sort of be in the background. Sometimes they can be helpful reminders even if you're doing something different. I like to start with just kind of noticing my breathing. Or if the breath is, you know, not something you like to pay attention to, just noticing the body, that you have a body. And that's kind of what that's about, just getting down into the body, a little bit out of the head. Body's much slower than the mind, <laughs> much slower. And let's make sure we're bringing uh, an attitude of no big dealness to this. I mean, truly, <laughs> it really isn't. You know, we're just sitting and existing. It's not a. It's not a doing. It's not a thing that's happening that takes any effort or requires some special mindset other than just to be open and easygoing to what's happening. Just sitting and existing. Maybe there's still a bit of movement if you're in action somehow, or maybe you've kind of come down to stillness. I mean, it's a little bit like sitting on a park bench or something when you've got a free 20 minutes. You don't make a big deal of that. You just sit there and listen to the sounds. Maybe just notice the feeling of being. If your eyes are open, you can be looking at the ground in front of you or looking at uh, out the window. And the equanimity is just about not needing things to be perfect, not pushing and pulling on things. So just letting whatever sounds be there, be there, whatever thoughts are there, whatever body sensations. You can just breathe out any <clears throat> uptightness around that. And truly, you could just sit and be, <laughs> just do absolutely nothing. And that would be the perfect meditation. Sometimes it helps to deliberately focus on something simple, you know, the first half of the meditation or the whole thing. And that sometimes just happens spontaneously anyway. You know, noticing the breath or a sound or another body sensation. And that just helps simplify the mind and it gives you something to do, especially if you got a lot of busy thoughts. Mind wanders, you bring it back to some 
simple sensation or sound and you let it be soothing, you let it be pleasurable to be taking a break. But if you don't like a narrow focus like that, you can have your focus wide too, just noticing, for example, the sound that just popped in the fridge. Anyway, I'll leave you there. I'll be back in a little bit. Equanimity practice for the sound of the fridge. <laughs> Nice and patient, this thing is going to get settled. Often you notice the mind is still galloping forward, drifts off or tries to do this or tries to do that, all the things it's trying to do. So yeah, okay, I'm just going to sit here.
the mind. Hey, what's up? Come on, come with me, come with me. I'm just going to sit here. You do your thing. Love you. You're good. <laughs> you can do it. Mine goes off all proud. Can you just stay here? I'm just noticing what it feels like to actually be here. What does it feel like to be present in your body, your space right now? Not a big deal. It may be a deep deal.
just sitting and existing. <clears throat> the practice of doing nothing, just sitting, I might say, in Zen Shikantaza. There's an intention to be present, to be relatively still, although there can still be supple movement, there can be movement of the breath, body moving a bit, or maybe you're stretching or doing something more active. But it's to stay right here. Sometimes about midway mark, I, I like to kind of zoom in on what's quiet in my experience or what's still. It's not like you find quiet or stillness. It's sort of like you become it. You just get still. And you notice that feeling, that quality of being still, or you get quiet and you notice that quality. And that can be there even with sound in the background or sensations in the body. How delicate can you make your attention? Can you kind of just very delicately notice something soothing or quiet in your experience? What might that be like when there's still thoughts happening and all the rest of it?
Yeah, for the last four minutes or so. Nice to finish sometimes with a a uh, some kind of you know passion, gratitude, loving kindness type practice. And I thought for this one, we kind of ease into it really slowly. So you just stay with whatever you're already doing. And every once in a while, just kind of whisper, "Thank you." <laughs> But you, and you don't even need to know exactly what it is you're thanking. Just you say it really quietly. Thank you. And you just let it kind of go out there. And maybe it lands on something or maybe something comes to mind. But just keep at your pace occasionally repeating it and just see, see what happens. But, you know, right now, maybe every 30 seconds or... So you're going to marinate in the quiet after. Maybe again, you say it, thank you. Maybe it's a whisper, maybe you say it out loud or you just say it in your head. Be really, really quiet. It's kind of interesting not even knowing necessarily what you're thinking. Maybe you do know. You say it again. Thank you. And quiet afterwards is kind of respectful or maybe you're not saying it, it's just a way you're holding yourself. Maybe the quiet just being still and quiet is itself kind of this expression of thanks, something you appreciate. As you breathe in, breathing in support. As you breathe out, it's like you're breathing out your thanks, breathing out your care. Thank you, industrial cafeteria fridge. For keeping me on my toes. <laughs> Thanks, Kent. Thanks, friends. Thanks, Marjorie. <laughs> Another rousing addition. <clears throat> kind of nice just sitting in this empty cafeteria. It's like... Um, Peaceful. <laughs> Thanks, Heather. Simone, Sheila. 
Allie, Alex, Jill, Sarah, Colette, Santana, good to see you, Art Sea Traveler, Jennifer, Stephen, Susan, Mark. Welcome, everybody. Adriano, Al, sorry if I'm missing a few, Ruth. Thank you, Ruth, for thanking the Industrial Fridge. <laughs> Oh, mahalo, Angela. Hey, Mal, Janet, Sarah. You're welcome, Sarah. Leonardo? Yeah. So our, uh, nice, Jill. Ecosystem meditation, I don't remember what that was. <laughs> um, yeah, so we also have the, so I got the, the home base sub stack. And the other thing is the mind bod pod is going strong now. We released that on Tuesdays. The one we just did on intuition was so good. Love people too. If you liked it, say in the comments, you know, we're trying to get the word out about the sub stack of that, the, the, the podcast. It's insane amounts of work. It's very hard to like, I don't know. We have no idea how to, we don't promote anything or do really good marketing or anything like that, but it's just all a labor of love. But when we have on, Coming up is Lama Rod. It's all about the practice of protest and resistance and activism, which is very timely. And then we have Adrian Marie Brown coming up the week after that and all kinds of amazing stuff and practices. So friends, happy to hang out. I'm glad you liked the follow. Um, I'll see you next week. Yeah. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks for moderating. I'm going to sign off. Much love to everybody. Thanks, Tisha.